हेलो डियर व्यूअर्स दिस इज पार्ट फिफ्थ ऑफ कंटिन्यूस रीनल रिप्लेसमेंट थेरेपी इन क्रिटिकली इल पेशेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग हाउ टू राइट ए सी आर आर टी प्रस्क्रिप्शन फॉर द मैक्सिमल एफिकेसी एंड सेफ्टी सो द रीनल रिप्लेसमेंट थेरेपी टेक्नीशियन और नर्स एंश्योर्स प्रस्क्राइब थेरेपी इज इम्प्लीमेंटेड आई एम डॉक्टर सुनील गर्ग फ्रॉम असेंशियल्स ऑफ एक्यूट केयर वाइल राइटिंग ए सी आर आर टी प्रस्क्रिप्शन physician should provide all the relevant information based on the clinical need of the patient to implement effective and safe therapy it includes information about access site indication of crrt modality of crrt blood flow rate dilated flow rate and type replacement fluid rate if any type and whether pre dilution post dilution or both net ultra filtration rate filter type and anticoagulation the variables affecting crrt therapy prescription mainly includes aims of treatment means indication of crrt patient factors like fluid status hemodynamic parameters and metabolic parameters and what are the resources available all patients undergoing crrt should be monitored for plasma electrolytes every 4 to 6 hourly all the pressures including filter pressure transmembrane pressure pressure drop access and return pressure should be monitored for specific anticoagulation monitoring should be done accordingly for example for heparin it involves partial thromboplastin time every 4 to 6 hourly and for regional citrate anticoagulation it involves systemic and post filter ionized and total calcium monitoring and bicarbonate monitoring monitoring every 4 to 6 hour patient temperature ph and filtration fraction should also be monitored the filtration fraction is the fraction of plasma water that is removed from the blood during ultra filtration it should be kept below 25% preferably between 15 to 20% for insertion of dialysis catheter the most appropriate site is right internal jugular vein due to its direct path to superior vena cava though less preferable other sites can also be used depending on duration of crrt availability of sites and appropriate catheter and presence of contraindications usually 12 to 16 trench catheter with length of 15 cm is usually sufficient for right internal jugular the modalities of crrt includes continuous venovenous hemofiltration hemodialysis hemodia filtration and slow continuous ultra filtration remember slow continuous ultra filtration does not provide solute clearance the typical blood flow in crrt is between 100 to 200 ml per minute open crrt is commenced at a slower rate then incrementally stepped up to ensure tolerance blood flow rate is usually kept lower while using citrate anticoagulation in view of higher risk of citrate toxicity among patients with no anticoagulation a higher blood flow rate and that is between 250 to 300 ml per minute may be required to maintain catheter potency and crrt circuit life dialysis fluid is used for diffusive clearance and makes the part of total effluent the usual dose in adult is 1 to 2 liter per hour or 20 to 25 ml per kg per hour the type of dialysis is governed by the need of patient and indication of therapy ultra filtrate flow rate depends on modality of crrt it is highest in cvvh and cvvhdf and lowest in cvvhd the rate is adjusted based on 
patient's overall fluid status and hemodynamics and to compensate for other therapeutic fluid administered like nutrition and drugs. The speed of net fluid removal should be less than 2 ml per kg per hour unless life threatening fluid overload is present as excessive rate may be harmful. Filtration fraction should be less than 25% and preferably 15 to 20%. Replacement fluid is used in CVVH and CVVHDF only. This is sterile fluid and its primary action is to provide convection for the solute clearance, particularly middle side molecules. The amount of replacement fluid is counted towards total effluent. The replacement fluid is given pre-filter, post-filter or both. While pre-filter replacement fluid decreases the risk of filter clotting, it also decreases the efficacy of dialysis as it dilutes the blood. If dialysis is done because of very high urea, then pre-filter dilution is considered to be more effective. Post-filter dilution, though enhances dialysis efficacy, reduces filter life. The effluent flow rate we do not set this variable on the machine, rather we target a specified effluent rate of at least 20 to 25 ml per kg per hour and this is also known as the dose of CRRT. However, patients with severe metabolic derangements such as hyperkalemia, severe acidemia or hyperammonemia may require periods of higher CRRT dosing. The effluent is composition of dialysate fluid per hour plus total ultrafiltrate per hour. The total ultrafiltrate per hour is combination of net ultrafiltration rate per hour and replacement fluid per hour. Various types of anticoagulation can be used during renal replacement therapy. Sometimes no anticoagulation is given in view of underlying severe coagulopathy and lack of regional anticoagulation availability. The commonly used anticoagulation includes regional citrate anticoagulation and unfractionated heparin. Other anticoagulants are low molecular weight heparin, heparinoids, direct thrombin inhibitors or factor 10A inhibitor fondaparinex. The soaking of filter with unfractionated heparin 5000 unit per liter before initiating therapy increases life of filter even if regional citrate anticoagulation is contemplated provided there is no contraindication to heparin. Filter is selected based on biocompatibility of its membrane, membrane surface area and pore size. So while selecting filter the patient's need CRRT modality and goal of therapy are important parameters to consider. Currently, most commonly polysulfone or polyacrylonitrile membranes are used and are of high flux type. The commonly used membrane surface area is 1 meter square. You can choose between these four commonly used fluids. These fluids can be used both as replacement fluid and dialysate fluid based on need of patient and goals of therapy as dictated by monitoring of various parameters. Hemosol is potassium free. Prismasol 2 contains 2 millimole per liter of potassium and Prismasol 4 contains 4 millimole per liter of potassium. Both contains sugar at 6.1 millimole per liter. All three contains sodium in the concentration of 140, calcium 1.75 millimole per liter, magnesium 0.5 millimole per liter, bicarbonate 32 millimole per liter and chloride. Foxolium is only fluid which contains phosphorus at 1.2 millimole per liter with calcium concentration less than 
रेस्ट ऑफ द फ्लू एट वन पॉइंट टू फाइव मिलीमोल पर लीटर फोक्सोलियम ऑल्सो कंटेन्स पोटेशियम इन कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ फोर मिलीमोल पर लीटर द कंपोजिशन ऑफ दीज फ्लूड इज क्लोज टू दो एक्स्ट्रा सेल्युलर फ्लूड यू जे फोस्पोरस कंटेनिंग सोल्यूशन इफ द सीरम फोस्पोरस इज लेस देन फोर पॉइंट फाइव मिलीग्राम परसेंट फॉर पेशेंट्स ऑन रीजनल साइट्रेट एंटीकोगुलेशन यूज फ्लूड्स विद लेस सोडियम फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन थर्टी मिलीमोल एंड बाइकार्बोनेट बिटवीन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव मिलीमोल पर लीटर एज देर इज रिस्क ऑफ हाइपरनेट्रेमिया एंड मेटाबोलिक एल्क्लोसिस इट इज प्रिफरेबल टू यूज कैल्शियम फ्री सोल्यूशन वाइल यूजिंग रीजनल साइट्रेट एंटीकोगुलेशन Here you can see a prescription of 80 kg male with acute kidney injury in which CVVHD is planned in view of hyperkalemia and metabolic acidosis. Here is a prescription of 80 kg male with acute kidney injury due to septic shock and the indication of therapy is metabolic acidosis and fluid management in view of anuria. initial fluid resuscitation leading to fluid overload and ongoing drug and nutrition therapy cvvhdf is planned for the clearance of inflammatory mediators as well as diffusive clearance the total effluent rate is 25 ml per kg per hour and net ultra filtration is 200 ml per hour here i finish thanks for watching this video Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions related to CRRT prescription, please write them down in comment section. See you in my next video on CRRT part six. Till then, bye and take care.